We got exactly 20 repairs each. That's cool. Working together, we can all reach the stars. Happy at four and a half now. Five and a half now. We have a problem on APU 2. Please be advised. This is so cool. Expect an early shutdown. Wait, I did slap you in the video. 1202, we copy at four and a half down. Five and a half down. Uh, we have a problem on APU2. <laughs> Please be advised. Oh, I can't see the slap. <laughs> Roger, 1202, we copy at four and a half down. Five and a half down. Uh, we have a problem on APU2. Please be advised. <laughs> <laughs> Quick <laughs> an early shutdown. <laughs> That's the garden girl. That's where we're gonna eat. See, oh, that looks like a long ride. Can you read that? Let me, let me zoom in. Uh, okay, let's, let's go. That's the line for Turtle Talk. I think we'll be skipping that. What? He said, ooh, that feels good. <laughs> Touch a gem, rub his skin, he likes it. It doesn't count though, because it's like not wet. Shark <laughs> skin went wet, it's different. Oh, They're all blurry. It's like, well, I'll fuck. And right now you can see four male Atlantic Arms dolphins. You can see four male Atlantic scratches because he's at the bottom of the jungle. This is a nice thing to the back, and that's probably kind of a with him. But he didn't know he was in charge. Which we'll see him right here in the middle. That's a sub-equal, which is a research device to this one here to study the Arctic Ocean. And our right behind the sub-equal, you'll see one of our Brown sharks again. Those are about medium in size with the largest dorsal fins. You'll also see many of our cows rays, which are the small and round ones. feel very left out and I'm They're like, you can look at me. I'm into this thing too. I'm not taking flash I know. I do. But I told you I said you're not supposed to take flash I know, and I didn't mean to. I know, but you didn't believe me. You didn't believe me. Look at this side. Oh, it's okay. And then back. You went to breathe? Yeah, who needs breathing? <laughs> I can't see through here, it's like a magnifying glass. Beneath the surface of the land, roots trap the food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. It's a great place to have uh, Nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful, living system. And while this arid landscape may seem wildless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in those harsh conditions of this land, even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. <laughs> Oh, you are. Looks like we're home. Is that a wheel ride? Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. 
The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use, and sometimes overuse, of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food... ...of potassium and fiber, making them an excellent addition to your diet. In fact, they are one of the world's most popular traditional fruits, and there are over 28 million tons consumed each year. Bananas are Over here on your left we have our jackfruit. The jackfruit is native to India where it can grow up to 80 pounds. It is also an excellent The fluted pumpkin is grown primarily for its edible leaves. And over here on your right we have our dragon fruit. The dragon fruit is native to Central America and Mexico and in Asia is grown primarily for export. Here is fish. And on your left here we have our sturgeon. The sturgeon is one of the world's alligators in Florida today. Many alligators that are raised on farms are raised for their meat and hides, while others play a key role in wetlands conservation. The biggest ideas here at Epcot. Over on the far right, you see our winter melons. Those are native to Asia, where all parts of the melon are eaten. And due to our advanced growing techniques, we are able to plant, which allows for just the right amount of nutrients and water to get to their roots. And the space between the leaves does allow for better airflow, which prevents disease. You can try this technique at home by growing your crops on trellises. And on both sides of the boat here, we are growing lettuce using our nutrient film technique. This also allows for just the right amount of nutrients and water to get to their roots. And this helps farmers save money as well as protects the environment. And over on your left is something that you don't see every day. Tomatoes growing on trees. In fact, each tree is a single tomato plant bred to grow in this unique way. This more than the usual tomato plant. In fact, our last tomato tree produced over 28,000 tomatoes. And that is a world record. And on your right here is something you should recognize for they were the inspiration. Except for those Mickey shaped ones, those are due to some e and in our creative greenhouse, we are exploring research that could completely change the way we grow crops. As you folks may have noticed, there is no soil in our greenhouses. This technique is called hydroponics and is being used around the world where the soil has been depleted. We have taken the idea even further with our aeroponic system. As you can see, our squash plants are being passed through our mist boxes where they're getting nutrients and water sprayed directly onto their roots. And in our biotechnology lab, scientists from Epcot and the Department of Agriculture are working together to develop dwarf pear trees. The fruit will be normal sized, but the trees will be smaller, making them easier to grow and to harvest. And our last experiment is completely out of this world as we work with NASA to develop crops for space colonies. That's why I wanted to do the ride first, and it rotates. Is your phone beeping at you? Yeah. Ooh, this is good food. Jim liked the cat this is best. Oh, I'm only on a four minutes battery life for approaching the dog. The farmhouse in the house. Is that a good meal, Jim? Do you have room for dessert? Mm-hmm. <laughs>